Hi, I'm Dr. Dan, and welcome from Mobile Admin Pro. And we're discussing a little bit about cortisol today. This will be two parts. First part will be, you know, the basics. You know, what is it? What does it do? Second part is how do you test it, and you know, what do you do about it? What if something's not right? And so the first thing, uh, cortisol is one of the uh, adrenal complex horm uh, complex of hormones. The other two would be epinephrine and norepinephrine, and we won't discuss those at all today. But uh, but we'll talk about cortisol. Now, normal daily activity, cortisol helps us deal with uh, the normal stresses. Now, the thing that it uh, tends to do on a regular basis, it helps regulate uh, glucose metabolism. It helps um, control insulin release. That helps control that blood sugar level. Um, it uh, helps regulate blood pressure, uh, immune function and helps modulate the inflammatory responses. So obviously these are these are pretty important to us. Now if you have a slight increase in cortisol because you have some additional stress in your day, then you're going to get some other additional responses. You're going to get this quick burst of energy that you might have felt before. Uh, improved memory function. It will actually increase your immunity and it will decrease your sensitivity to pain. Now these, of course these are really good things if uh, you're getting chased by a bear. Um, so you can see how this cortisol is pretty important to you know, have it working right. Now the problem is that if you have some kind of stress that's chronic, you know, and you know, there's a, a list of, you know, a mile long and everybody's got their own uh, set of stresses, but what happens then, you get this chronic elevation of cortisol, that has an entirely different effect. Now the problem you're going to have will be things like impaired cognitive function, you know, you might know something about brain fog. Uh, it's going to suppress uh, thyroid function. You're going to get swings in these blood sugar levels because cortisol is so instrumental in blood sugar control that, you know, if this is elevated, you're going to get, um, some people are going to get more hypoglycemic. Other people are going to have more hyperglycemia or they're going to be on their way to diabetes. Uh, bone density will tend to decrease. You get actual decrease in muscle tissue. Um, increased probability of high, high blood pressure, uh, you have lowered immunity, an increased inflammation response, uh, wounds will heal slower, and of course you'll have some increased abdominal fat. So, uh, decreased muscle, increased fat, not such a good thing, and of course brain fog will go along with it. So obviously we're, we're looking for um, some kind of cortisol regulation because we certainly don't want this to happen. And of course we know that the increase of abdominal fat that comes from the increased cortisol tends to accumulate around the stomach, around the belly. And of course there's a whole list of problems that goes with that, which uh, you can read about and I won't go into here. So in the next, next part we'll talk about how we test it, how we treat it, and hopefully that will be a good information for you to get started. So thanks a lot for listening.